Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? So sorry, I was um, I was shuffling your cards and I've already opened up your spread and then suddenly my video just stopped. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I just started like from like the beginning part of it. So I figure I'll just leave the cards here and then I will explain to you. Okay, before anything else, I just want to let you guys know that this is the your love reading for the month of May, year 2020 for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it is a general reading, may or may not resonate with you. Roles can be reversed. Time is fluid, so this may already happen to you. May have already happened to you in your past and vice versa okay so i was saying just now that um i just started like right here and i got cut off so i'm gonna repeat anyways this is the king of wands and it is in reverse okay and here's the page of cups and it's in reverse someone is not accepting a certain uh, apology from someone apology or um, an offer okay whatever the offer is but this king of wands it is in reverse i see king of wands when it's in reverse someone who has a very bad temper and um they're probably uh, they're older but they probably act a little bit childish okay and right here the nine of swords it's in reverse someone was stressing out about you know this connection okay i feel that it is the connection where there is a third party there's someone else in the picture okay and i also see that this is what you're thinking or the what the other person is thinking okay so three of cups it Three of Cups is here and it's in reverse and the Empress card is here. You feel like maybe you, sh you, you, I think you are involved in a third party situation, okay? A love triangle situation and you feel like you should end it, okay? You should end it because it doesn't put you in a power position because you feel like you are the second option, not second option, like second in line like you're not the first you know they have the first wife and the mistresses like you feel like you're the mistress and you don't have much power you're thinking about stability because it's like this could be that person okay or this could be you so but i'm just gonna say you okay this is the reading for aquarius so i'm just gonna say you um but you're feeling like you're not in an advantage position because you are the mistress and you're not the wife you're not the wife you're the mistress if anything was to happen to you in the future if you were to have children with this person maybe you do already i don't know oh my gosh you could be pregnant too okay if you're already pregnant then it's like you're thinking you should you're not sure maybe you should end it you feel like you know how are you supposed to benefit from this this relationship when you are probably the mistress you know the third party and here is the ace of wands i think the blockage too is that this connection is built upon physical attraction more so than spiritually because of the priestess here and the ace of wands here as well okay i i strongly feel that this connection is built in the foundation of physical attraction but not spiritually someone is feeling stuck too i feel like you are not it like in um, close proximity with each other okay you guys are apart from each other because this person whom you're connecting with is probably with his family or her family and not with you right now so i think this is why you're starting to you're starting to second guess you're starting to second guess if you are making the right choice 
being with this person and being, you know, second in line, being the mistress or the second wife or, you know, just you're not the main person. You feel that you're not getting anything solid from this person. Okay, sex may have been great and whatnot, but you looking, you're looking into the future as in what's going to happen if I get pregnant? What's going to happen, you know, when we have children together? Because this is the Empress card. And there is a possibility of pregnancy too. And you're waiting. Maybe you're also waiting. Like, when is he going to leave the first wife and marry me? And you really don't want, you really, you really don't want to suffer anymore. You feel like you're always being left in the cold. Um, you know, like you're not this person's priority. And you really want to end this cycle because you feel like you're starting to realize that this connection wasn't built on a solid foundation. It was more like a physical attraction. It's starting to wear off already. Although you do have love for this person, you do love this person, okay? And then six. Mm. I think you're hoping maybe you could make it on your own without him or her, okay? And maybe end things and be more uh, decisive. Let's see. Yeah, Spirit's telling you and showing you that, you know, whatever you thought you were seeing, whatever you were expecting, it's, I don't think it's going to happen. Like this, whoever you're connecting with will not leave the other person, okay? So don't accept this offer because this offer from this person, whoever you're dealing with, is just an illusion. It's just an illusion. It's not real. It's not realistic either. It's not solid. It's not realistic. And it's telling you to, to move on. Don't cry over spilled milk. You know, you have better options and you are beautiful. Aquarius, you are beautiful, you know, you have a very beautiful quality about you, you're a very well-rounded person, and um, you don't have to settle being second, you don't have to settle being second, and if you are pregnant already, if you've gotten pregnant by this person, Spirit is saying that, yeah, it's better it, it will be much better if you were to be on your own because be single because you will do really really well you will be victorious it will be hard but it will be you will be victorious and also I don't know why I'm seeing this like that. Ten of Swords, it is in reverse. You're recovering, you're trying to heal. You're trying to heal from this path. You feel like this is holding you back, like this new love. I don't know, the Ace of Cups always, it means like a beginning, a new, new love. It could also mean like, getting married, you know, getting engaged, even pregnancy, this could also mean pregnancy card, and if you're pregnant and you have a daughter, it's, this W means, uh, this M, uh, it's W, it means womb, W-O-M-B, this could also signify pregnancy or symbolize pregnancy, you feel like you can't let go of this, you can't give up on this, this uh, connection because because of some sort of a pregnancy going on here 
Yeah, see the sun card. Sun card sometimes meaning children, okay, or seeing something really clear now, or being outside, happiness, it could mean all of that. I feel like you don't want to wait anymore and you regret regretting something that has happened or regretting your choices. And you're keeping it to yourself. You're not actually expressing this much right now about what's going on. But I strongly feel Aquarius. I'm sure this is this seems quite quite a you know a reading that's quite personal. Maybe the universe wants to send a certain messages to a number a collective group of Aquarius. But I feel something of about um, some sort of a pregnancy that is prohibiting you from moving on or moving forward from this relationship whom you are probably the third party okay Aquarius if you resonate please like share and subscribe you can message me or whatsapp me I mean for a personal reading and I will send you my details Take care, Chris, and I'll see you next time. Bye.